promise once made, it is a debt unpaid. We thought that words were for free, but everything has its own feet. One day wreathed in a grain of dust, your golden oak suffocating in rust. Can you keep it? Do you guarantee? We are mere humans, you and me. Bernard! What? Don't you what me? I've been calling you all day. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. What do you mean with busy? You've been playing that junk all day long. Could you at least pause it for a moment and make yourself useful? It's an online game, honey. You can't just pause it whenever you want. Wait a little until I finish this quest, okay? How long? Can't say because I'm lagging all the time. Maybe an hour or so? Ah, <sighs> an hour. Why am I even bothering?
I'm done, so how can I help? I am also done. With you, that is. I asked you two hours ago to help me. Get out of here. You'll just mess up the kitchen again. Wasn't I supposed to repair the dishwasher? I did that already. You did? That's amazing. I know. I am amazing for marrying a man that tries to wash his shoes in the dishwasher. It worked well for that guy in the video, though. I can't believe this. He clearly said not to try this at home. Oh, seems like I missed that part. Are you mad at me now? Oh no, I feel absolutely fantastic after cleaning everything back and forth, taking care of our cat, watering the backyard, and vomiting a few times in the process. And that is not... At least I did the grocery shopping. I doubt this will be enough to defend myself with. Yeah, you bought papayas instead of potatoes. Hey, that one wasn't my fault. Your handwriting isn't the best. Well, excuse me for having such bad handwriting. <sighs> Just get out of here. You're really testing my patience. <sighs> Fine. I'll just go outside for a walk until you miss me. That won't happen. Didn't you want to go out? That was fast. Did you forget something? Uh, actually, yes. I forgot that I wanted to give you something. Oh? Give me your hand. Renor, please. 
I don't have time for your stupid games. Just tell me what it is. <laughs> and that's why I need you to stretch out your hand. Ah, fine. A ring? Oh, wow. It looks so pretty. Oh. Crap. It doesn't fit. I'm so sorry. It was the last one they had in the store, and I knew you loved this color, so I bought it without thinking. It's, a. Uh... It's fine, really. At least you tried. I can still wear it on my pinky finger. I was wondering why you spent so much money on the groceries this time, but now I see. Yeah, I actually ended up buying a lot of snacks, but she doesn't need to know that. <laughs> Thank you. You make me really happy. Dear Lord! Renor, you reek! Now that you mention it, I totally forgot to take a bath today. Or yesterday. Or the day before yesterday. I get it already. Now, go take a bath until I prepare dinner, okay? Okay. I'll be back in a flash. No, please take your time. I'm naked, don't have any clothes on, no, I'm naked, I'm naked today. Delicious. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. But well, please don't talk with your mouth full. Mm-hmm. Honey, today's the 11th of July, right? It is. Oh, crap. I totally forgot to finish my commission. Ugh, the deadline's next week. Yeah, time goes by so fast. I can't believe that tomorrow is going to be a full year since we moved in here together. Oh, it's really going to be a year, huh? This place is quiet and all, but I feel bad that we had to move because of me. You even had a nice job in that design studio. Are you kidding? I hated my co-workers with a burning passion. They were all so arrogant and only wanted to make use of people. That aside, why should you feel bad? I'm just glad that you got better. Right, my health condition. Renor, honestly, don't you think this house is a bit too big for just the two of us? We managed to get by the last winter somehow, but I think the expenses this year are going to be outrageous. First of all, you shouldn't worry so much about expenses. I'll have a few commissions coming at the end of this month. And in August, your history research book will be published. And what do you mean, just the two of us? You're already a month pregnant, and this is just the first one. You're right. The winter is still far away. So how about a picnic? Does it celebrate the nice weather and all? Oh god, what am I even saying? Celebrate nice weather? She's so easily embarrassed that I almost feel bad for teasing her. 
Almost. Um. Whatever. Count me in. Phew. Nice save. Ben, what would you like me to cook for tomorrow? Something that's easy to make. How about sandwiches so I can help you out? It is the only thing I can make after all. You say that, but you can probably cook well if you wanted to. I don't know. I'm too lazy to try. Let's just stick with sandwiches. <laughs> Fine with me. Ah, thanks for the food. Is everything all right? Toilet, toilet, toilet! Oh god, you are gross! That one took me a while. Man, I feel ten kilograms lighter. Martha, I've got some yummy fish for you. You don't seem hungry at all. Alona probably fed you. If it weren't for her, you'd be starved by now. I know, I'm sorry. Is someone there? Just the wind, I guess. I should go get some sleep. I'm starting to hear things. Good night, Bartha. After closing my eyes, I didn't manage to fall asleep until very late. I had chills running down my spine, even though the bed sheets were supposed to wrap my body in heat. As the sound of the clocks ticking and Alona's breathing became slowly distant, the only thing that replayed through my head was the whisper I heard before. Find me. Was it really that? Looks like I slept in. Oh, Alona already woke up. In a scene described by one of the investigators, 
A lady was found dead, and two children went missing. Ms. Adona Lipa, owner of the Linda Orphanage, built almost 20 years ago in the outskirts of Peoria, was found in her nightgown, lying on the floor of her office, stabbed 17 times from the back. The murder weapon was apparently a knife, which the killer took from the kitchen to commit the crime. Several body parts, including vital organs, were stabbed repeatedly in an aggressive manner, resulting in extreme blood loss. The body has been dead for about 12 hours and was discovered this morning by the orphans, who immediately contacted the police. The two children that have gone missing are both female and are believed to have disappeared around the same time the murder happened. The missing girls are Trinka Vasliu, 14, blue eyes, black hair, with a purple fringe, and was last seen wearing a white tank top with black leggings. Mona Limani, age 7, brown eyes, short blonde hair, and was wearing a pink-footed pajama as last seen by her friends. While the police admits that they have no suspects for the murder, they believe this case to be connected to the other disappearances that happened throughout the last years in the village of Uruya. None of the bodies have been found. There is a total of 105 people, including 89 women and 16 men, that went missing in the past 10 years. The highest number of disappearances happened four years ago, when the police thought that they had finally caught the kidnapper, who was supposedly... Why'd you turn it off? I've heard enough. I never knew this village had such a bad reputation. Who would do such a thing? It doesn't make any sense. We shouldn't pay too much attention to this sort of stuff. The news never had anything good to report anyway. I didn't even know that an orphanage existed in the outskirts of this village. I've never seen it before. Me neither. This place is pretty dead, though. I wonder if it can even be called a village anymore. Hmm, yeah. Weren't we supposed to have a picnic? Let's go now. Ah, yes. I already made the sandwiches ready. You'll just have to find the basket. I don't know where it went. Oh, okay. It's in the car, I think. I'll just go and... Wait. Where's my car key? Have you seen my key? Honestly, Renor, I can't keep track of all of your things. Ah, <sighs> One day it's the socks, the other your pants, and now it's the key. No reason to get mad. I'll find it myself. No, let me help. I'll search here. You go somewhere else. All right. 